Hi, Pastor G here from Minnesota, America. Hi, everybody. Say hello. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for being so good. Thank you for your mercies that endure forever. Thank you for your mercies that are new this morning. Father, I pray for revelation from heaven to come to all the people hearing in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Amen. This is a special short little video where I want to invite you to seven days of glory, which will be followed by seven days of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, we're going to be fasting. We want to fast and pray uh, uh, starting on the 16th, next Sunday on the 16th, Sunday to Sunday, we're going to be meeting together for two hours at the church. We're going to be observing a fast and listening to teachings on three points. Number one, on the power of fasting. What is it? How it was employed in the Old Testament, New Testament, and the the efficacy of it, the power that releases when we fast and pray. Number two, we want to also cover the power of raising your personal altar with God, your meeting place with the Father. It's your gateway to the supernatural, your place where covenants are made and kept. You have power at your disposal, not only to pray, not only to seek God, but to fast and pray, and then to uh, raise an altar, to dedicate one particular place where you're going to meet with God. You have the altar that is based upon Calvary, the finished work of Jesus Christ. And then you have the altar right there at the church, Everyone that gets attached to this altar is going to be affected by the power of God. I'm here in America. I have already raised up an altar here on your behalf before the Lord. And I man the altar. I get there 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. and meet with the Lord. And I'm praying on your behalf because God wants to meet you and to, uh, to release his favor, his power uh, into your situation, no matter what the, the situation is. Nothing is impossible for God. Your altar is a place of covenant where you make agreements with God. Lord, if you do this, I will do this. You learn to be a promise maker and a promise keeper just like God. And God is going to be very happy with you. And he's going to, he's ready to unleash uh, his goodness and his power upon you. And then three, we're going to be uh, teaching, yes, how to make and keep vows with God. I just want to open up your Bibles to Genesis 28. And this is a very famous place where, where Jacob, third in line, it was Abraham, Isaac, and then Jacob. Jacob uh, runs from his family because he had just uh, 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 gypped his brother out of uh, the blessing of the father, his brother Esau, and he ran for his life. And uh, when he laid down, he put a rock down underneath his head for a pillow, and then he had an open vision of Jesus Christ and a staircase and angels ascending and descending upon it. And, uh, and then the Lord spoke to him, promises, I will be your God. I'm the God of your father, Abraham and Isaac. I will do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, like this. When, when Jacob came out of that dream, he built an altar, a place of memorial, of, 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 of uh, remembrance. It's a place of meeting. He said, surely, he called the place Bethel. He said, surely, this is the house of God, Bethel, the house of God. Your altar is going to be your house of God. 
Yes, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes, the Holy Spirit is within us. Yet, if you sanctify, you separate a specific place where you're going to meet God, God will never hesitate to meet you there. He'll never be late. He'll be waiting for you. That's right. Do you know how many billions of people on this planet could care less that there is a God, if there is a God, and let alone want to spend time with Him? So just think how, how, how excited He'll be when you say, Lord, I'm going to dedicate this place. This is where I'll meet you. This chair, this, this wall, this floor. Uh, so listen to this. And then there at the place, verse 19, He called the name of the place Bethel. It's a new name, the house of God. The place actually is called Luz, but now you name it. And Jacob vowed a vow. If God will do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, give me bread, keep me in my way, put clothes on my back, and then I come again to my father's house in peace, then God will be my God. Look at that. Amen. And then it goes on to say, and surely... I will give the tenth of all my increase. You know, he's the one that made a covenant with God, made a promise to God. I'll give you tenth. It wasn't because it was a law that was written by Moses. Moses hadn't yet come. But he knew that he had to put something of sacrifice on that altar. You can erect altars in your life. You can erect an altar where you meet God, not just a, a place where you read your Bible, etc., at your house. It's your meeting place. Tell your neighbor, you need a meeting place with God. Tell your neighbor now, God will meet you there. That's right. And there, at the meeting place, you can make vows. You can make covenants with God. Lord, if you walk with me like this, I promise I'll spend the first two hours of the day with you. I promise I'll do it like this. Lord, if you just anoint me with your power and love and a sound mind, if you anoint me so that mighty miracles happen tonight at this meeting, I vow to give you all the glory. You can make all kinds of pacts with him. Lord, if you'll just bless my business, I vow to give you 20%, not 10%, not the first fruits of 10%, but 20%. And, and then you can, you can see God move. Where things looked impossible, He'll just move. So I want you, as you enter this year, you got to do something new. Don't just fast to fast. Don't just make an altar to make an altar. You want to do it with purpose. And you want to do it with knowledge. So this is what we're going to do. Starting next Sunday, we're going to present uh, to you a, a teaching every day. There'll be a 10-minute or 15-minute teaching on, uh, like I said, on the power of fasting, what fasting is and how to fast. Okay, we'll give you instructions. And then you choose the fast that you're going to do. You're going to uh, submit unto the Lord. And then the power of raising an altar. What is an altar? And then, what does it look like? How do, you, uh, uh, how do you raise it up properly? And then, how to make vow, how to make promises uh, or covenant agreements with God there at that altar. That's going to be life-changing, okay? We want our lives changed. God wants our lives changed, amen? The Word of God always declares that if you draw near to God, He will draw near to you. Period. And so when we draw near to God, we want to draw near with, with, with uh, expectation. We want to draw near with, with determination. Okay, I'm going to see some things happen. It's not going to be by power. It's not going to be by might. It's going to be by His Spirit that He's going to get things done. Okay? Already God has been changing things in our lives. And uh, uh, I'm just, I'm excited because it's not by power of man. It's not by the might of man and what we have in our bank accounts. It's by my spirit. God gets things done by his spirit. He knows exactly what to do, when to do, how to do, how to answer your prayers exceeding, abundantly, above, all that we can ask or think. He knows how to revive your heart. He knows how to set you on fire 
set you on fire. He knows how to remove all the doubts, worries, and fears from your life. He knows who to put next to you, who to help you, who's going to lift you, who's going to help you to the next level. He knows that. So anyway, this is going to help you. Please tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family. This is what I'm going to do starting the 16th through the next Sunday. We're going to observe a fast. Whether it's going to be a fast all the day long and then at the end of the day, you're going to have a, a, a one Maggie or, or something like that or some YY. Uh, whatever it is that you choose to do, whether it's just a total water fast, whether it's a, a complete fast for a few days and then water fast, whatever it is that you can do, you're going to lay that upon the altar and then you're going to meet God at that altar. You want to meet God. Tell your neighbor, I want to meet God. I need to meet God. And I want to meet God at my altar. It'll be your altar, but your altar is going to be connected to the altar there at Final Harvest Church. So let me pray for you. God bless you and keep you and all that you do. Father, I pray for a brand new time. Father, your word says, whoever humbles himself shall be lifted up. We're going to humble ourselves with fasting. We're going to meet you. We're going to turn off our cell phones and turn our hearts toward you. And Father, I believe that as we do and as we pre present to you, you know, in 1 Samuel chapter 1, Hannah was just like you, dedicated to the Lord every year. Well, actually, every year they would go up to the Jerusalem and to present their, their tithes and offerings to the Lord and even their vows. Okay, but nothing happened. She didn't actually make a vow, but her husband was making vows, maybe for his business, maybe for his whatever. But nothing happened until she was there and she poured out her heart before the Lord. And I believe that she gave the double portion. You know, every year when they would go up, uh, Elkanah, the husband, would give portions to his wife and his children, portions of money that they were supposed to give at the at the uh, temple. And he gave her double portion. I believe she took that double portion and then she laid it on the altar and she made this vow. Lord, if you will look upon me and give your handmaid a male child, I vow, number one, I promise to raise him as a Nazarite. You know, it was no razor would, would go on his hair. And you would raise them according to the ways of God. And number two, I will hand them back to you for your service once he's weaned. And the word of God says that God heard Hannah and answered her. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this, up, for this upcoming fasting time. Fasting for God's glory and breakthrough. Fasting for God's glory and breakthrough. That's what we're going to call it. Fasting for God's glory and breakthrough. All of us, all of us together, bring your friends, bring your family, and, and or just you stand on behalf of your family and your friends. You stand on behalf of your life. God will set you on fire. God will answer you in greatest ways unimaginable. He, his arm is not short that it cannot save. He will do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think. And he will, he will graciously bless you. He will meet you in your secret place and bring you into his secret place in the name of Jesus. He's going to set you on fire. So get ready. Get ready. Don't let anything stop you. Those seven days are, might be, it might very well be, the most important days of your life onwards. Father, bless your children now in Jesus' name. Make the commitment. God bless you. Amen.